Five years after beloved Memphis Chamber CEO Phil Trenary was shot and killed, one of the men arrested accepted a plea deal today. McKinney Wright will get 25 years behind bars. WREG has been... 25 years, you lucky son of a bitch. Um, ...happened. WREG Chief Investigator Jessica Gertler was in court this morning with as Trenary's children had their chance to speak to the man who killed their father. A turn of events Monday morning. McKinney Wright pleaded to a lesser charge of second degree murder, getting 25 years behind bars without parole. A deal negotiated five years after his arrest. It was September 27, 2018. Officers flooded Front Street in downtown Memphis, the place where Greater Memphis Chamber CEO Phil Trenary was walking home. Police say three people in a stolen truck pulled up, robbed, shot, and killed Trenary. The next day, officers say they spotted the same stolen truck, sparking a high-speed chase, ending in a fiery crash, and Quandarius Richardson's arrest. Quandarius Richardson. With the Berlin Monroe shirt on. <laughs> yeah, he's no chaser. Parking a high speed chase, ending in a fiery crash, and Quandarius Richardson's chase. arrest. According to court documents, WREG investigators uncovered, Richardson told detectives his girlfriend, 16 year old Rikanisha Wright, and her cousin. Remember Rikanisha, oh, right? I remember Rikanisha, yeah. Yeah, every person got a new story, criminal history. Press one if you remember Rika Nisha. No. You thought Quandarius was bad. <laughs> Richardson told detectives his oh, girlfriend, 16 year old Rika Nisha Wright, and her cousin, McKinney Wright, were with him that night when they pulled up and confronted a man wearing a suit. He claims Wright got out of his truck, put a gun to Trenary's head, pushed him, and fired a shot. All three were arrested. Right and Richardson. But they did. So they just they just killed him. Like it was like a hit. It's, <laughs> like the mafia, the yeah, dying. Like, it's like literally like they killed him to go through his pockets. I guess. Yeah, mm. they put the they did it in the wrong order. Yeah, <laughs> they got the order kill messed afterwards. Up. Don't you hear when that happens? Though? Yeah, I know, man. It's like, God, man, it's such poor robbing etiquette. Because then you get, like, blood on his phone and shit. I can't wreck right. it. Right, man. Now you can't even get him to give you the pin number and the fucking Stupid. code to his phone. Damn. He pulled up and confronted a man wearing a suit. He claims Wright got out of his truck, put a gun to Trenary's head, pushed him, and fired a shot. All three were arrested. Right in Richardson. That was her ass. That was no. That was I think that was his ass. She's they're both right. So I think one of them killed him. But whatever, whoever. Fucking, it. it was one of those two because I don't think Quandarius looked like goddamn Quasimodo over there. I don't think he was like you know calling the oh, shots exactly. Oh, oh you underestimate Quandarius, bro. That'd maybe, maybe I do. But Don't be the ones. He, he might Asia have been punched in to... the face to convince him to come along. Yeah, maybe the cops beat him. He claims Wright no got out of his truck put a gun to Trenary's head, pushed him, and fired a shot. All three were arrested. Wright and Richardson charged with first-degree murder. Everybody's questioned why it's taken five years to get here, and we have two. Trenary's daughter, Brittany Rose, says she's tried finding clarity, calling the past five years agonizing. It really was a series of unfortunate events that we couldn't mm. foresee or plan. COVID halted jury trials, and then Wright's attorney took a new job delaying the trial even longer. Last week, the defense filed a series of motions. Judge Christopher Kraft spent two days listening to the evidence to see what could be brought up in the trial, like Wright's intellectual disability. The defense had their own mental health evaluation. Wright's intellectual disability. They, they're going to free his dumb ass. So, but wait, this is the part where dyslexic. Game. This is the part in racist Tennessee where they get to get up and call them sun word a bunch, right, in public. Yeah, this is the part. Family. This is my favorite. This is my favorite part. Yeah, we some finesse motherfuckers, man. 
evaluation conducted, the results in Wright's case file, stating he was born premature with cocaine and alcohol in the system. I'm a good time. Cocaine and the so, so he's a crack baby. That's how so you free all, that. So free all the crack babies, basically. Our, our, our hands held through everything. Like we're like little children. Through everything in life, they need to hold our hands. Oh, we, are, we don't know math. Let's skip them. No kids held back. Um, mm. too much black people was in jail. Oh, let's let's not let's. This is just crazy. It is. This is <laughs> crazy, <laughs> man. Because like there ain't no swimming pool open or some shit. Stating That's he was born we're... premature with cocaine and alcohol in his system, and his mother and father weren't really in his life. The state's evaluation noted Wright received special education services his whole life, and diagnoses include bipolar disorder. Well, this explains them um, getting the order wrong in the robbery. Um, <laughs> the checklist. You probably needed a checklist, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah. But n none of this shit matters, though. I mean, let's be honest. None of it matters to what he did. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just say, like, we, we got somebody with these traits that they're saying... So everybody that that has right. these pro like do they do these things that he's doing like this is crazy nah this is bullshit. This guy shot a guy in the fucking head for no reason. Like he literally they hopped out and just shot him in the fucking head. Like, they he gave the retarded dude the gun. What's up with that? <laughs> right. right. Rickonisha like early failure is a crime boss. I'm telling you man, Rickonisha that was a bad shot she called right there man. Um and a cannabis dependence. Wright also reported a history of hallucinations. Cannabis dependence. Jesus to stand trial last year. It's unfair that, you know, he has um, intellectual disabilities, but unfairness does not negate justice. He made a decision. Um, that's not an excuse. Court documents claim the state had also uncovered and had hoped to play several hours of recorded phone calls from jail during the trial. Many, they say, were related to drug sales, including one where Wright provided detailed and explicit instructions regarding where to leave drugs for an organized pickup. Oh, so he no got no fucking nah. This motherfucker running a jail. Yeah, drug. man, get that nigga life, man. <laughs> man. Give that nigga life, man. Keep Yo, that nigga in jail, man. And and everything they said, I'm sure it's true. I right, but come on, give me a break. Look at that Keep... shit. They just he's gonna do his time and he's going on with business. Man. Yo, yo, I God bless the gliders and their system that is unreasonably intricate. It's like it makes no sense. This shit does not matter. The, I'm pretty sure there's some in, in some parts of Africa. I don't know all of Africa. <laughs> and he's like, uh, uh, yeah, I'm a uh, you know, I'm retarded and shit. <laughs> and the fucking gliders are like, <laughs> oh, okay, well, you know, we gotta. Right, they're factors to be considered somehow. Hey, we gotta delay the trial the five years. I gotta get the candidacy. Hey, Ark, hey, did they say that this man was making deals and setting up shit? In jail while he was in jail, the same the same kid. Yeah, yeah, they got him on That's the recording. Crazy. He was in jail. Yeah, you know how all retarded the retarded guy. Is yeah. Yeah. Retarded this shit is wild, bro. He definitely yeah. is retarded. I hope glad is watching this right now and, and just just learn a lesson right now, man. We all finesse this. We will finesse you. You hear me, glad is? We will finesse you. We will take everything from you. We will beat you up. We will, all that shit. Right. Y'all gonna keep look, on letting us get away with this shit. This is crazy. Right. Look, bro. As much as the gliders hate me for saying this, don't buy. Don't even bother. They're hopeless too. The situation is hopeless, bro. Everybody sucks. It is what it is. Wow. Woo from jail during the trial. Many, they say, were related to drug sales, including one where Wright provided detailed and explicit instructions regarding where to leave drugs for an organized pickup. As part of the plea deal, other pending cases were thrown out, including a contraband and drug charge. Monday, Trenary's son told Wright he's getting off easy. May you wake each day dreading the next haunted by the consequences of your choices. As for the others arrested, Richardson awaits trial, and Rekinesha Wright's case was handled in juvenile court. In December 2018, records state a deal was worked out after she agreed to testify. She pleaded to a less- Oh, you rat! Rekinesha the rat! That's okay, she went on to commit another crime. She went on to commit like a petty carjacking after getting off for this and went, you know, 
Oh, she killed another guy, man. Yeah, yeah her, that's right. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was with another guy when he killed somebody else. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. That's when we did the story a couple weeks ago because it was. Yeah, crazy. off to this shit, man. The sisters. I think it's going to happen, too. I did it when it happened, too. So, but it's like, I've been covering this story for five years, man. Um, mm-hmm. The whole time. I wonder if she's going to play on this one, too. She's going to cry right on that one, too. Well, I mean, she's in, she's 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 got like fifty lives, man. This girl always lands on her feet, man. This was handled in juvenile court in December 2018. Records state a deal was worked out after she agreed to testify. She pleaded to a lesser offense and was placed on diversion. Her mother told us she wore an ankle monitor for six months. Last summer, WREG <laughs> investigators reported she was arrested. She wore ankle monitor for six months for being involved in mm. killing Phil Trinnery. Last summer, WREG investigators reported she was arrested again, charged with attempted first-degree murder. In October, she pleaded to a lesser charge of aggravated assault, released, and given three years of diversion. But I won't let that she got off. God, wow. look at she yeah. got a total of, of for, for those two murders that she was involved in. She got a total of mm. six months in the ankle monitor and three years probation. She's gonna straighten up and fly right now, though. <laughs> <laughs> they be business, man. That three months probation up was the, and fly right. That was the yeah. put the hammer down. They were like, "Yo, that's six months. The six months um, right. ankle monitor. We're not playing this time. You get three, <laughs> three months probation." <laughs> right. Yo, yo, but maybe this was the one that just is gonna is gonna click now. Like she's gonna get it now. Yeah. If she does it again, I'm sure they're gonna give her six months, man. I oh, a year. She's probably get a year. <laughs> maybe right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's it, Missy. <laughs> She'll be successfully diverted from murder this time. Jesus Christ. We are not safe. Since we're Gladys, not safe, man. Gladys better tighten up right now. Y'all better start throwing like them old school years y'all used to give us because sooner or later y'all going to be under slavery under us, man. I'm telling you. I thought you got diversion for like <laughs> eating shit, not shooting people. Uh, man, you thought I wrong? got diversion. I got the youth act for, for, for a robbery, man. Um, Strong arm robbery, I would say that. Um, but it, I got the youth act, they diversion that shit. That's a diversionary program in DC called the youth act where you can get Fair your enough. expunged too. They expunge it from your record after three years. Um, salute to death. Consequences of your choices. As for the others arrested, Richardson awaits trial. And Rekinesha Wright's case was handled in juvenile court. In December 2018, records state a deal was worked out after she agreed to testify. She pleaded to a lesser offense and was placed on diversion. Her mother told us she wore an ankle monitor for six months. Last summer, WREG investigators reported she was arrested again, charged with attempted first-degree murder. In October, she pleaded to a lesser charge of aggravated assault, released, and given three years of diversion. But I won't let that tarnish the memory of my father. Trenary's children both adamant this won't tarnish their father's legacy. His son calling him his best friend and hero. His daughter says he was a true champion for the city. And he loved every part of it. He saw it for what it was, but... Yeah, and that's the thing. Like being who his job, the chairman of um, the yeah, CEO, chamber CEO for Memphis, a city that's sixty five percent black. A lot of his work was free stuff for some people, handouts for some people, special contracts for some people, um, this for some people. Because the city's sixty five percent black, so he had to like he was doing. Just, I don't even, now that I think about it, it may not even be that he was woke, even though he was woke, but he's the chamber CEO in a city that's 65% black. And the black people are fucking retarded, so you have to give them stuff. They can't, like, just get it. So he was giving them stuff all the time that they didn't deserve. Children both adamant 
this won't tarnish their father's legacy. His son calling him his best friend and hero. His daughter says he was a true champion for the city. And he loved every part of it. He saw it for what it was, but what it could be too. And he, you know, always taught us, leave something better than you found it. And he practiced what he preached. A man that loved Memphis as much as Memphis loved him. Jessica Gartland. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's okay. how we're going to end it? <laughs> we're going to end it on that note? <laughs> <laughs> with that kind of love, who needs enemies? Yo, if this was a story about a black businessman, where some white dude, white people got out yeah. the car, pulled up, hopped out, blew his brains out, got in the car and sped off, and we're here in the story, there would be no way they would end it like on a positive. Like we're gonna try to, um, we're gonna try to the bright side. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna try the to like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's no way they would do that. It would be all oh, the sky is falling. The world's coming in. The country's broken. Yes. They're trying and to this end this on a good note. Damn. This is crazy. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> There's nothing good about this story, man. This is the tragedy of epic reports. Really? This won't tarnish their father's legacy. His son calling him his best friend and hero. His daughter says he was a true champion for the city. And he loved every part of it. He saw it for what it was, but what it could be too. And he, you know, always taught us, leave something better than you found it. And he practiced what he preached. A man that loved Memphis. Uh, I got a better idea. Better leave. Jessica Gartler, WREG, News Channel 3. A big loss to this city. Trenary's daughter also thanked the judge and the prosecution. Not as big as Tyree Nichols, though. Right. But how about yeah. we lock up the criminals? Literally. Now? No, no, literally. It wasn't as big a loss to them as Tyree Nichols. Literally. Mm. That's crazy. Memphis loves Tyree <laughs> Nichols more than, you know, this glider. Yeah. 